welcome back today we're playing genshin again and uh today we are doing the um card game uh quest it's called uh battlefield of dice cats and cards a lovely name really <laughs> i actually already started it uh, while doing another quest fortunately it was recording so i'm gonna put uh, past me here starting the quest it's actually two separate recording of me continuing a quest because it blocked me from another one after i started it <laughs> so i'm gonna change outfit multiple times because of this quest because also today i don't have much time to record so i don't know if this would be the set outfit until the end <laughs> this freaking quest i'm very sorry about it i hope it's short someone told me i could add it to another quest so if it's short i might add it to another video but we'll see what i can do okay i'll leave you to past me to double past me actually <laughs> no i don't want you to cross please okay it's fine i'll at least i'm recording this time <laughs> This is the cutscene that uh, so, I thought I skipped. So, Sucrose, the package you mentioned that you received before, it's not dangerous, is it? Huh? You need to be careful when you're opening packages. I once had a friend mail me some research materials, and all the bouncing around in transit caused a reaction. Huh? Once I opened it, oh, it let out a stench that could wake the dead. Damn. I also, isn't it dangerous? Depending on what was in it, no. the stuff. This package didn't contain any hazardous materials. Why are you blushing? What What did the package add? Hi, Sucrose! Harmless sweetie! I would hey, die for is. her. <laughs> what are you chatting about? And who might this be? Oh, you're so baby. Hi. Oh, you're so cute. You have the little ears like the uh, Yae Miko that I just tried. Oh, oh, hello, you two. Uh, this Hi. is Sucrose. Hi, I'm Sucrose, Albedo's assistant. Oh. If you have any alchemy-related queries, you could always ask me. Okay. Uh, I do my best to help. Uh, you don't have to be so nervous, but uh, he, he, maybe he it's just her personality. Huh? Do I look nervous? Oh, baby. M my apologies. I don't get out too often. Mood. I'm usually in the laboratory where there aren't many others to talk to. Yuki. That's okay. You don't have to force yourself. I'm sure that once we get to know each other better, we'll become really good friends. Oh, You guys are so sweet. Aren't you the legendary traveler? The one who repelled Storm Terror? It's me. <laughs> legendary is a bit much indeed. I don't even charge for autographs. Don't be that. <laughs> Please, don't be that cocky. It's fun to be cocky, not that much, though. I've heard so many stories about you. Always wanted an opportunity to research you up close. Oh, research me? Uh, what do you mean, research? <laughs> Same. <laughs> Sorry. Don't mind me. What am I saying? Um, uh, it's okay. Can you use a different wording to convey what you were trying to say? Just now. Sucrose received a strange package recently. That's not our business. You shouldn't tell us. A strange package? Yes. I believe it's from a Sumero scholar who came here to study in Monsta. It's most likely a thank you gift for collaborating on some research together. Oh, fun. Huh? A package from an academia scholar? Oh, then there could be anything inside. Well, it is a thank you gift. There wasn't anything dangerous inside. Just a bunch of strange cards. Oh, yes, you were right. This is the uh, card games quest. So it, I indeed did not skip anything important. I think I've if seen I Demaeus with it. some similar looking Wait, cards before. So I came to ask him about what they might be. Uh, you've, you've seen me with some cards? <laughs> <laughs> Maybe those were the testing cards used for distinguishing reagents. No... They didn't look like test cards. Here, have a look. <gasps> There's a card about you? It's so cute! Oh, you meant these? Huh. Sucrose, have you really never seen these before? No, never. Recently, I've been spending all my time up in the mountains working on cultivating pentatonic sweet flowers. Why? 
Is this an area of research that has started trending in the alchemical community during my absence? Uh, they are like collectible. <laughs> Collectables or something. <laughs> you could definitely say that it's trending, but not as an area of research. It's a card game that's been getting really popular these days. I used uh, to play cards. I used uh, to play actually Yu-Gi-Oh! and Pokemon when I was in elementary school. Because uh, it was like... It, it was a boy thing, but my best friend had a twin brother and he had the, the cards. And I don't know if he played or just exchanged them, I don't remember. But uh, she also got them and she got me into it, so we learned to play cards. <laughs> and uh, to this day I don't remember how to play Yu-Gi-Oh! or Pokemon. Well, Pokemon is easier because there are literally the instructions in there, but probably also Yu-Gi-Oh! I still have the Pokemon cards. I could sell them for a fortune because they are first edition. I will not <laughs> because they are my cards. <laughs> I know it's tough, don't judge me. <laughs> it's sentimental value first, okay? <laughs> it's called Genius Invocation TCG. Oh, I read it in a quest uh, um, name. So I understand what's happening Genius now. Genius <laughs> Invocation TCG! So this is the game we've been hearing about? Genius what now? <laughs> yeah, we've been hearing about this game all over the place. Uh -huh. This is Are the sure? first time we've ever actually seen any of the cards. We didn't know it had made it all the way to Mondstadt. Must be pretty popular, huh? Indeed. That's right. The game's been catching on lately. The Yae Publishing House and Inazuma has even published a Yae? series of light novels based on the game. The story is really good. I like Yae Miko? Does she have a publishing house? Who is this girl? <laughs> um. It starts with a young guy in Sumeru who finds an ancient casket of tomes in the attic. He opens hmm? it and discovers that the soul of an ancient TCG player called the Crocodile King has been it captured is inside. It is Yu-Gi-Oh! <laughs> it turns out that the Crocodile King was King Deshret's viceroy who battled an opponent named the Ibis King. During oh the match, the Crocodile King fell prey to his opponent's scheme and was sealed away in the Casket of Tomes. After being unexpectedly released by the kid, the Crocodile King possesses him and helps him to gradually climb the ranks and become a legendary TCG player. I love you, Gil. Uh, Timaeus. I should rewatch it. <laughs> Fuck, I was a kid last time I checked it out. Oh. Huh? It was on TV! What's oh, wrong, Sucrose? I don't watch TV anymore! <laughs> uh, if you're interested in how the story plays out, I can lend you the novels. No. The novels? I was just thinking about that time you requested an extension on your progress report deadline, citing personal reasons for the delay. <clears throat> well, uh, I did go through a phase recently where I wasn't putting enough focus on my work, but it's under control now. <laughs> it's fine, it's fine. I've committed to not even touch Genius Invocation TCG until I've made enough progress in my research. Oh, it's that bad. <laughs> well, that's unfortunate. <gasps> no! Oh? Why is that? Well, you wanna play? since it's a gift from a researcher I've collaborated with, I thought that I should at least try to learn the rules. That way, I could say that I at least tried to appreciate his gift. All right! And since it's a game from Sumeru, who knows? Playing it might even make you smarter! <laughs> ah, if you want to play it, then just say it. <laughs> then you desperately need to play this game. <laughs> just wait until Paimon <laughs> plays it enough to become smarter than you! I'm sorry I love so you! Sorry. I'm sorry, I love you! <laughs> it's lovely, it's lovingly teasing you, sorry! Although, it seems like we can't learn how to play it anytime soon, cause Timaeus has given up for a while. He was kidding, probably. <laughs> well, research is my priority, you know. <gasps> Actually, wow, you're so disciplined. <laughs> But, if you'd oh. like to learn the rules of Genius Invocation TCG, then I'd actually suggest you go to the Cat's Tail. The Cat's Tail? That's Margaret's place. Oh, I know Margaret. It's an NPC in front of us, basically. <laughs> yep, that's the place. It's where everyone in the community goes to play when they have time. They gather there, trade cards, and they're very welcoming to new players. How cute. Trying to learn the rules can when I be intimidating at first, with my friends at school, they were kind of, of fun once you get the hang of it. <laughs> well, they were a bit aggressive, but they were kids. It's fine. 
probably grown-ups would be a little different. I don't want to relearn, relearn how to play cards. I'm actually very bad at cards. I always lose. Um, when we are with my uh, dad family side, we all play cards together and we play Scala 40. And uh, I don't know if you play Scala 40, but uh, you... Okay, it's basically you have the cards and you have to add them up in, uh, in, speci in a specific order and you have to put them down once you have 40 add adding up all of the little groups. If you don't get to 40 before someone gets to play all their cards and have none left, you pay 100. Which means you have 100 points on the scoreboard, which means you are losing. <laughs> the less points you have in Scala 40, the more you are close to winning. Once someone gets to a certain number, that is decided at the start of the game, uh, you are out. <laughs> I am always the first out. You can come back with the points of the person that is about to lose. So sometimes I come back. <laughs> <laughs> with someone else's points after I lost and I lose again before them. <laughs> I am that bad. <laughs> but I'm just not lucky with cards. <laughs> and it was the same when I was like a, a kid actually. I don't think maybe I won like a couple of times when I played Yu-Gi-Oh. Understood. Traveler? Paimon? Let's go to the cat's tail and try asking around. Um maybe another time. To early. be honest, hearing Timaeus talking about the game has also piqued my curiosity. You are lovely. Well, what are we waiting for? Let's get going! You are lovely, but I want to see how much inside of the cat tail do I have to be. <laughs> I didn't want to start this, actually, but it's fine. Okay, let me just do this part of the quest so we can continue with uh, Jean's quest, I think. Hello? Are you Margaret? Welcome to the you cat's are. tale. <laughs> ah, it's the Traveler and Paimon. What a nice surprise. Hi! Also, right, I'm with Sucrose right now. <laughs> oh, and Sucrose the Alchemist. It's been a while, hasn't it? <laughs> oh, baby! So cute! I'm afraid I've already told you before. Fur from the cat's tail staff is not for sale. No matter how much Mora you offer. Do you need for alchemy and stuff? That's... The, why? Oh my god, he has a little head and a bow tie. That's... Uh, I love it. I love this so much. <laughs> Don't worry, Margaret. We're not here for that research project I told you about last time. <laughs> oh my god, you are blushy, but also... Uh, what research project? A forum from the cat's tail staff? Uh, so gross. <laughs> what kind of experiment were you trying to do with the cat's tail? Um... Uh, that is indeed a bit weird. I won't judge, though. Uh, I think oh, the kitties are fine. I just wanted to test out some hypotheses, and I needed some materials. But uh, we can talk about that later. Well, there are uh, very, um, um, very cute little uh, brush thingies for uh, cats uh, when they have built up for. Uh, so maybe you can get one of those very, very furry babies and b brush them a little. They usually love it. Bibi kind of hates it, <laughs> but Bibi's food isn't very long, so maybe that's why. Um, um, but uh, you can just brush them a little and you'll have a, a little bit of, of food. That shouldn't be a problem. Actually, Margaret, we're here to learn more about Genius Invocation TCG. Hmm. You could explain everything to Margaret. I would have loved ah, to know Genius it too. Genius Invocation I TCG. We were just talking about that game. Really? You see, more and more people have been gathering at the cat's tail to play. So I thought, why not have a dedicated staff to serve the new customers? You are hot! Sorry, <laughs> this NPC is very pretty. <laughs> oh. Ah, allow me to interpret. <clears throat> Prince says that the word customer is much too loose of a term, and we should instead refer to anyone who loves dueling with cards as TCG players. He's hot and talks with cats. What a dream boat. <laughs> hmm, <laughs> my mistake. So it seems I haven't introduced you yet. 
This nope. is Prince and Shuyun. They will be in charge of taking care of our TCG players. Wait, you are Shuyun? Ah, I'm afraid I must correct you there, ma'am. Only Prince, the strongest and most formidable TCG player of all, is capable of providing valuable <laughs> guidance to our new players. You are a little weird, though. Unfortunately, weird is my type. <laughs> The average player is incapable of grasping the subtlety and sheer genius behind Prince's every play. And Don't he has me. no choice but to rely on me to communicate with everyone. <laughs> I am merely Prince's lowly assistant. That's all. <laughs> okay. <laughs> wow. Another guy who can understand animals. That's why they made him extra hot. <laughs> Because it's important. <laughs> How can you use such a crude word as animal to describe the one and only prince? He is special and the only one of his kind. Such a remark is an insult to prince. Of course, he's a sweet little baby boy, one of his kind. Meow. Oh. <laughs> oh, what's that? Shu Yen, in the eyes of the common folk, I look no different than any other ordinary cat. It's a natural mistake to make, and you shouldn't overreact. How forgiving. Ah, understood. <laughs> I do apologize. How forgiving, my boy Prince. He's so sweet. Love it. Deserve the little hat. <laughs> it seems he really is capable of communicating with the cat. Oh my goodness. Could this be the result of some modification to the language center of his brain? Are you permanently blushy? That's so cute. <laughs> Seriously, how can he get all of that from a simple meow? <laughs> you guys are so cute. Amazing. That's pretty weird. Amazing. Yes, it was the sacred duels of genius invocation, TCG, that formed and cemented our bonds of mutual understanding. It's my firm belief that by simply playing the game, players can develop a deeper level of understanding between one another. Okay, so... Playing Genius Invocation TCG fosters some sort of a telepathic link between players? I'm not sure about it. Hmm, somehow Paimon doubts that. Same. <laughs> uh -huh. Anyway, if you'd like to know anything about Genius Invocation TCG, then please ask Shuyan. Uh, who will ask Prince? Alrighty. Though I'd love to explain more myself, it's time for my daily walk. I'll let Prince play a game with you and walk you through all the rules. Just as a seasoned warrior can foresee the path of his opponent's sword, so too can I, as a TCG master, predict my opponent's every play. It would be improper to pit a newcomer to the art of the card against one such as myself, and I must therefore politely decline. <gasps> All of this uh, to say no, thank you? <clears throat> That's what Prince said. Oh, Prince doesn't want to play with us, huh? <clears throat> Fine, then Prince doesn't have to. We'll play you instead. I'm sorry, but from the day I met the mighty cardmaster Prince, I swore an oath that my hands would live solely to hold the cards and not to play them. <gasps> I will <gasps> never play another match of my own again. Sure, okay. <laughs> so stupid, I love him. Look at them, look at this. This is the best. Look at this. It's so cute, it's so baby. Um, right, Princess Paul probably can't hold the cards. What a backstory. <laughs> if Prince is unwilling to play, then I guess we should look for an alternative. Oh, hmm. <gasps> How about this? Diona! Oh my goodness, I know who this is. Because my cousin hates her. <laughs> Blah, 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 what is it? I'm pretty busy over here, you know. Who's more? Hi. Cat's uh, Lane Cocktail. Bartender of the, at the Cat's Tail. It's all alcoholic beverages. Damn. But has a rare talent for bartending. Oh, damn. That might be weird for you. No matter the drink, as long as the mixing is in her hand, it will... It will be imaginably delicious, unimaginably delicious. Her excellent bartending skill and her cat gear uh, and tail that run in her family are a big hit with the hunters, making the cat's tail extremely popular. Well, they're there for the cats. 
However, please take care not to touch Diana's ear or tail when ordering at the bar. Of course, if you cross her, the consequences will be dire. Alrighty. Uh, why is it that every player that sets foot in here to play Genius Invocation TCG <laughs> has to have a drink? Ugh. Don't they have any clue that the key to playing a game is the ability to think straight? Oh, don't worry, I don't think... Uh, well, uh, I think someone told me that I just look uh, uh, underage. And I, I, a traveler is actually... Well, a traveler is for sure as... Uh, hundreds of years <laughs> technically <laughs> so for sure traveler is not a minor but i don't think uh, it will be then i will be able to order anything for him <laughs> seriously games and drinks don't mix don't they get that Ugh. yeah but it's nice to have something to sip sip what can i say as the tavern owner i can't help but feel happy to hear this anyway i see you've been working hard so i thought you could use a break so, why not come over here and teach these customers the rules of genius invocation? Ha! <laughs> yeah, what kind of break is that? I'd rather not. <laughs> Damn! Oh, why are we letting all these loafers come in here to play genius invocation TCG anyway? All it does is encourage more people to come to the bar for a drink! But that's how do you, that's how you do business, my girl. <laughs> if you don't sell the drinks, where does your paycheck come from? <laughs> uh, you know, if drink sales keep going up like this, pretty soon Mondstadt's alcohol industry is gonna reach new heights. They already are doing great, honestly. <laughs> <sighs> huh. Looks know. like my first step in destroying Mondstadt's alcohol industry should be stamping out the spread of Genius Invocation TCG. Um, do you have a tragic backstory that makes you hate um, the alcohol stuff and beverages? Or uh, and, uh, something else? Because uh, but, uh, otherwise I would tell you to chill out because this is just a game and you are indeed working in a bar. Which makes it good if people order drinks because that's where your paycheck comes from <laughs> and tips, probably, maybe. <laughs> but uh, if you have a reason of this, I will not tell you to chill and I instead would love to suggest you to go to a therapist. My dear, you are quite mistaken. You said it yourself, a clear mind is necessary to win. Soon their thirst for victory will overcome their thirst for alcohol. Wow, so wise. <laughs> Prince speaks the truth, Diona. Not only is the spread of genius invocation TCG no obstacle to your goal of destroying Mondstadt's alcohol industry, it could even support you in this endeavor. Mm. Could it really? Sure, why not? Alrighty then, our two customers are waiting to learn. Shuyun, let's put you on drink mixing duty for now. But Shu Yen is destined for a far greater purpose. <laughs> Shu Yen, drink mixing now. <laughs> oh, okay. Ooh, all right. We'll need some space to learn. <laughs> Let's oh. go to that empty table over there. Okay, uh, welcome back to the present. Let's re-enter the, 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 the cat's tail. I think now it's where the tutorial starts. I love this place. Ah, hello, baby. I wish I could crouch. Hello, prince. I think I have... Ah, yes, Diona is there. Okay. Nom, nom, nom. I hope it's not too much reading. Hi, girl. <laughs> okay, let's go through the rules. First things first. You'll be needing your deck, so place that on the table. Um, okay. Uh, deck? Oh, right. You have a card, not a deck, right? Uh, yes. You should have built a deck. You Oopsies. know, a set of cards that meets the bare minimum requirement to play the game. Oopsies. Uh, what's with the blank stairs? <laughs> Come on. Don't Bro. tell me you came to learn Genius Invocation TCG without bringing any cards. That's exactly it, I, I'm afraid. Um, actually, we do have some cards. Uh, don't you have a practice deck? deck we could try yeah we need a practice deck can't you just let us use one i don't know if they have it there's no such thing oh freak 
Okay, let me think. Oh. <sighs> to learn the game, you'll need at least two character cards to switch between. Hmm? Oh! Oh, that reminds me! A few days ago, when I was closing up for the night, I noticed a customer had left a couple of character cards on the bar counter! <laughs> oh, <laughs> okay. Maybe you could use those for now! Of course, Are I love you it. sure that's it's okay? Fine. It's fine, we'll give it back. Eh, it's already been a few days and he still hasn't come back to claim them. Oh boy. Who knows? Maybe he left them here on purpose. Were they bad? <laughs> oh, okay, yeah, I got them here with me. You know, just in case the customer came looking for them. Yeah. Of course. <laughs> Not because I like to play the game or anything. Of course. <laughs> You're such a tune tune. <laughs> All right, so now we have two character cards. That's everything we need, right? Uh, I'm not sure. Yep. So, oh. are you ready to start? Okay, I'm ready. All right, then let's begin. I should have maybe told her something, like ask a question or, or something else. Ha. <laughs> welcome, welcome Why to the world of Genius Invocation TCG. Uh oh, I hope I don't like this, or I'm gonna be stuck here. <laughs> Well, no, maybe I hope I like it, actually. It, it seems like it looks like a good source of Stellar... Oh, no, no, Stellar Jade, Promo Gem, sorry. Stellar Jade are on K-Star Rail. I have on K-Star Rail brain right now, I'm very sorry. Um, Simply put, this is a game not where you read. control character cards to duke it out with your opponent. Pew, pew, pew! Once you've defeated all of your opponent's character cards, victory shall be yours! Lovely. Now then, you're gonna need a character on the field to start with. Uh, select the look. Confirm selection. Let's go. A roll phase. First, we roll eight elemental dice at the start of every round. I'm scared, okay. <clears throat> Ooh, these dice correspond to elemental energy. We'll be spending these dice to perform actions. Um, confirm your result. Your roll result. Once the roll phase is over, you'll enter the action phase, where the real game starts. Okay, you are so enthusiastic. It's so cute. During the action phase, you can spend elemental dice to perform various actions. Of course, the most common action is to use character skills. Okay. Um, um, um. Take the look elemental skill. The looks elemental skill will cost three pyro dice. What if I don't have it? What if I don't have the elemental skill? I need it. I need for it. Um, after selecting the skill, you will select the elemental dice that must be spent by default. Okay. Um, sitting on slot. Deal three pyro damage for the third use of this skill each round. This plus two damage. Oh, I see. You sing uh, on slot, uh, on slot, uh, sorry, <laughs> against the opponent's active character. <laughs> oh boy. Huh, not bad. Oh. You just made your first attack. During the action phase, both sides will take turns making their moves. After you use a skill to attack your opponent, it's their turn to attack. Okay. Don't not make too much. That was and nothing. as you can see, <laughs> once the enemy finishes their move, it's our turn again. Okay, I can use it again. Oh, this Omni Dice, I see. Now, these are Omni Element Dice. They can be spent on any move regardless of the elemental type. So, we're going to use them to pay for the Pyro Dice needed for this skill. Go on, give it a try. Okay. I'd be very conservative with those, I think. I'm afraid of wasting it. Oh, bye. bye. <laughs> that was pretty good. That's one opponent down for the count. Kabam! <laughs> Kabam! <laughs> I love it. She's such a kid. <laughs> Actually, I don't know if she's a kid. She just looks like one, maybe. But the game has only just begun. Remember? You have to defeat all opponents to win. Okay. <laughs> um. Oh, ouchie. Hmm. As much as we'd like to attack again, seems like we've run out of usable dice. Yeah, what do we do about that? Huh. 
In that case, let's end this round. Okay. After you end round, you won't be able to do anything else this round. Um... And once everyone chooses end round, we can move on to the next round. That's kind of bad, no? End round? Um... Wait, what do... This is... I'm confused. Okay. All right. Here we are. I think I got the end of it, though. Round. Doesn't seem Ooh. too hard. <laughs> She's cute. Okay. And a fresh new round means time to roll the dice again. That's how we're... <gasps> Sorry. Roll the dice again. Uh, Ooh, Ooh. That's some terrible luck. Yeah. Huh? There's no way we'll be able to use d Luke's skill now. So but don't the... worry. Situations like these are why we have the option to... Reroll! How many times can I reroll? <laughs> Once per round, you can select all the dice that you don't like and reroll them. Cool. All of them? Once per round, she said. Ah! All of them is fine, right? Except this one, of course. Oh! Oh! That's when nice. When the action phase begins, the player who first chose end round in the previous round takes their turn first. This means that since you finished first the last Fair. round, you'll be the first to start this round. Okay. Alrighty then. Let's learn a little bit about energy and elemental bursts. This is very totally indeed. Each time you use a skill, though. your character will gain one energy. Okay, I noticed. Uh, last round we used two, okay. Once Diluc's energy is full, he can use a powerful elemental burst. But we're still one short. Never mind. Let's, Let's get start to it. with a normal attack instead. A normal attack? Are you sure? Are you sure? I could just do this. Well, Diluc's normal attack only needs one pyro die and two other dice of any type. In any case, your normal attack needs fewer pyro dice than your elemental skill. Bonk. Hee <laughs> hee. Okay, oh, so it counts as an attack too, I see. It's not just a skill. Ouch. That's bad. <laughs> now we have three energy plus. We have enough pyro <laughs> elemental <laughs> dice left over. <laughs> it's time to use your powerful elemental burst. On it. Bonk. Bonk. Burn. Oh, so cool. Oh, damn, he's dead. <laughs> Okay, seems fun. Next battle? Should I? Okay. Is this okay? I'll just do In one an actual oh, game of play. Genius Invocation TCG, you need to use multiple character cards to form a party. Okay. Next up, it's time for your second character card, Kaya, to take the stage. Oh boy. Oh, Yikes. It seems like any move by Kai is gonna cost quite a lot of cryo dice. Go for it. Okay. When you deal cryo damage, you'll cause your target to be affected by cryo. Love it. Freeze. Freeze. We said the line. <laughs> Ouch. Good! Now our opponent is affected by cryo. This is a good time to learn about Ooh. elemental reactions. We can melt. Different types of elemental damage affect enemies with different elements. Why do you need to say my skull I don't combos, need any... I don't need... An elemental reaction will be triggered. I know. At the moment, <laughs> your opponent is affected by cryo. So we should try and use a pyro skill on them. Looks like we have to switch active characters, though. Oh. Okay. Oh, that reminds me. Both sides must have one active character, while others are considered standby characters. Uh. Normally, we can only use the active character skills. Now, if we want to use the skills of our standby character, we'll have to switch them to the active character. You said it three times. In this case, with... <laughs> we'll have to switch to Dealy. Yes. In order to use his skills. I'm gonna. I'm gonna skip you if you do it again. Um, okay. You can spend one elemental die of any kind 
to switch a standby character to the oh. active character. Fun! Let's finish this swiftly. Swiftly. Switching characters is an action, just like using a skill. Ah, uh, okay. So once it's done, Makes sense. it's your opponent's turn. Ouch. Most That's skills right. can only target the active character. As you can see, your opponent just attacked D Luke. That's why they make me keep uh, when I roll the fire dice. Now that D-Luke is our active character, it's time to use his skill. Yes, ma'am. Because the opponent is already affected by crime. I know, when stop it. <laughs> now this will allow you to deal loads of damage and... Fantastic, thank you. <laughs> Sorry for skipping. <laughs> I think I understand how it works, so it, it takes me a bit to have to listen to it too much. And she repeated the same thing so many times. <laughs> Okay, I think it's fine if we go... Oh, yes, three or four. All now I right. saw it. <laughs> Next up, let's learn how to use card types other than character cards. Oh. These cards are all known as action cards. Okay. Each time a match starts, you have to draw five action cards to form your starting hand. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Okay. Now I do need to listen. Okay, dice. Uh -oh. oh, they suck. Looks like we don't have any elemental dice we can spend to make an attack. Okay, I roll everything. That's bad again. Seriously? <laughs> we still don't have any usable dice even after that reroll? Well, he indeed he doesn't have much life. He's fine. Oh, maybe you want me to use the cards then. Well, huh, never mind. Even in cases like this, we can still attack. We just need to put the action cards in our hand to good use. Okay. Don't underestimate action cards. They can grant all kinds of support and buff to your active character. <laughs> Take this one, for example. Which one? Wait, which one? This one? So playing this action card will require two of these. Uh, see two the symbol? What? Yeah. That means you'll need to play <laughs> elemental dice of the same type. Uh, two of these? Elemental dice of the same type? Okay. Some other cards will cost you these instead. Okay. The cost requirements for these are much more lenient. You can spend any kind of elemental dice. Okay. We'll cross that bridge when we get there, though. For now... Oh, sorry. Action card. Ah, uh, this one. Oh, uh, two of the same kind. You so, see? playing an action card from your hand is a form of fast action. Fast actions do not end your current turn. Ooh, so I can attack now Simply with you. Simply put, you can continue to act even after playing an action card. Well then, <laughs> you have your blade. Time to test it out. <laughs> yes, oh, ma'am. D Luke's oh. elemental skill costs three pyro dice. And I right need now, it. We don't even have one. Oh, maybe the normal skill also costs. Yeah. Not a problem. One. This is where we mm. can use a more advanced mechanic known as elemental tuning. Okay. By discarding one card from your hand, you can convert one elemental die into the element of your current active character. This is Yu-Gi-Oh! <laughs> and this card isn't useful right now. So we might as well use it for elemental tuning. It's important for you to know that I sucked when I played the Yu-Gi-Oh! But I also was 10 years old. <laughs> so maybe it doesn't count. <laughs> um, okay. Uh, this card... Oh, love it. Sometimes you won't be able to perform any actions you want to because you didn't roll the elemental dice you wanted. Oh, well. Moving on. Ingenious so, Invocation TCG. Does this also Keeping count as a fast action? Keeping up of combat is much more important than the number of cards you have. Oh. In this case, well, <laughs> let's just take all these useless cards and use them for elemental tuning. Okay, just not like all at once, though. Just cards from your hand. Elemental tuning oh, yes. is a fast action. Okay. Come on, hurry up! Oh. Use elemental tuning <laughs> to get yourself three pyro dice. So, sorry, you did... Well, I was not kind of... I was paying attention. What did you, yes, I'll do it. I was paying attention, but you scared me a bit, sorry. <laughs> Bonk. Well, well, oh. well, would you look at that! Finally, we now have enough elemental dice to use Searing Onslaught! What a suspicious... A suspicious card. This is Paimon. And the both of the twins are there. No time. It's just not the time though. <laughs> to, to theorize. 
Because okay. you have the white iron greatsword equipped, Searing Onslaught will deal one extra damage! What? Only one? Well, better than nothing. <laughs> oh, well, it's also super dead, so it's fine. <laughs> Only one was all we needed. Next! Last one! Intent and final test. Wow. Now comes the final part. Oh yeah! Mm. In a real match, oh. you can make adjustments to your initial hand. At this time, we can select any number of cards in our hand to shuffle back into the draw pile. Chicken. And then draw the same number of new cards. What? Chicken. <laughs> what? <laughs> Chicken keeps me alive. Chicken is good. So... Oh! You want me to discard chicken? Chicken is good. I want chicken. Chicken is good. Chicken. Well, I guess Once I don't need chicken. Once you have confirmed any adjustments you wish to make to your starting hand, both players have to select their starting active character at the <gasps> same time. Oh boy. This one's a real doozy. We gotta take it out pronto. Mm-hmm. Let's see how you do this time. Remember, start by selecting your initial starting character. Well, you already... Oh, you didn't tell me which one. I can do any set. Let's go. I'm scared. <laughs> okay. Hoping for good dice. This, I will do it, right? Yes. What is this? This still hey, sucks. Okay. Look at you. <laughs> I should have got to Kaya. You're getting the hang of these rolls. Now let me teach well, you this one, one good last though. trick. Free a charge. Oh, thank you. You can preview your opponent's <laughs> Wait, actions. Talking? I mean, that is to say, you can read their intent. Oh? Read their intent? Check it intent. out. So here's where you can see all your opponent's intentions for this round. Can I look at the weakness? Would they have the, the, the weaknesses all or not? All your opponent's no? intended actions for the round will be listed here in order. Okay. Do that, major. Reference this Physical. to come up with effective countermeasures and easily defeat your opponents. Okay. Well, then, that's the end of the tutorial. You're on your own from here. May victory be yours. Okay, I got this. Okay. On the boy. This is a fast, fast action, so I'm fine. And now I can do this using these ones. Next turn, I'm fucked though. Not super fucked, but I'm kind of fucked. It's fine. I will be fucked. I don't mind. <laughs> Damn! Ouch! Welp is fine. If I switch to Kai, I don't think two dice would be enough. I don't remember, actually. I don't know what to do, so I'm gonna end turn. I don't know what I'm doing, actually. Maybe I should practice more. Wait, 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 wait. wait. <laughs> uh? There's one more thing I almost forgot. Do I... What? Every time you hit an end phase, you get to draw two cards from your action cards pile. And it's back! Okay. Remember, you have to make use of both your elemental dice and your action cards to win. Uh, I actually am not sure what I'm doing, but... Uh, fine. Thank you for skipping. For going through... What the freak? Okay. Oh, that's great, actually. Lovely. <laughs> I'm a mama. Okay, so I am... I now have the look. Okay, I got this. Bonk! It's so next time I switch. Wow. Ouch. <laughs> Do I need chicken? I don't need chicken. Switch. This this one, yes. This will be interesting. This will be interesting. Switching is a turn, though. My turn? Oh! End battle? Did it... Did it what? What? Okay. Fantastic. Cool it. I used everything. So I think I'm doing a correct... Oh, I did a great job. Okay. <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing yet, but this is fun. Sorry for the lack of commentary, by the way. <laughs> I was very focused. <laughs> oh, this is all the tutorials that she just told me. It's fine. Please, let me, let me go. Let me go. Let me go. <laughs> let me go. Oh, I already... Right. Okay. Cool. <laughs> basics. Did you get all that? Yeah. What we just played was, was an adventure easy. challenge designed specially for new players. It's easier than Yu-Gi-Oh. 
Genius Invocation TCG can be played in dual mode, where each player brings three character cards. Or in Adventure Challenge mode, with a fixed deck for each challenge. But it's so but it's the rules are all the same. As long as you understand the basics, then you should be able to take on any of those rowdy booze hounds. Cool. <laughs> Although I feel there are still many details to grasp, I think I understand the basic premise of the game now. It's actually it's not easier than Yu-Gi-Oh. It's exactly Yu-Gi-Oh. You just have to read the description of the card. Also Pokemon. That was quite the detailed explanation. Hi. I didn't know the Cat's Tales famous mixologist had such an eclectic skill set. Are those your cards? What? What? Oh, when did you get here? <laughs> I stepped in while Do you were in the middle of beef? your explanation. I hope I didn't dampen the mood. No, not at all. Well, well, oh, when did you get here? Okay, not at all. You snuck in without making a sound. <laughs> anyway, what are you doing here? The cat's tail is a player in Mondstadt's alcohol industry. Naturally, you have some <laughs> collaboration with my winery. Okay. I'm here today to discuss a few items of business with Margaret. Mm, too oh, bad she just it. left. <laughs> but if you head off right now, you might still catch up with her. Never mind, it's nothing <laughs> urgent. In fact, I think I'm now more interested in this card that you're using to teach them the game. Oh, were those yours? Wait, Wait, this card? It's Diluc's character card! Oh! So they Although are... Although I have some degree of experience with Genius Invocation TCG, seeing this particular card is a first for me. <laughs> Don't you know you're famous? Uh, a Actually, customer left it behind a few days ago, but he wasn't even playing the game while he was here. <gasps> a collector. Oh? And what sort of a customer was he? Uh, he wasn't wearing an eye patch, okay? He had a light complexion and a super oh. serious look on his face. He wasn't much of a talker and looked like he was just drinking his worries away. You never seen him around here before. So, is he supposed to be Kaya? Because Kaya is not light. It doesn't have a light complexion, or am I getting it wrong? Super serious look on his face. And also, uh... Drinking his worries away, never seen him around here before. Hmm. Eye patch, you say? There's no doubt about Ugh. it. I was trying to give the opposite description, but I just ended up giving it away. Oops. Sorry, guard captain. Oops. Don't worry. Somehow, he left I behind don't the... think he'll be giving you any trouble over it. He left behind himself uh, and the look. They do seem to have beef. I have to read the fucking manga. I think that's <laughs> that there are stuff there is stuff in there that explains everything and I need to read it. But someone told me to maybe read it while getting to Sumeru before uh, after Inazuma. So I don't know about the timing, but I will read it. So what about the Dilu character card? I don't mind. It's just a card with my image on it. I would have sued. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't expect Diluc to be familiar with Genius Invocation TCG. It's so cute, it's so blushy. The game has been catching on lately. It's hard to go anywhere without hearing it mentioned. Every now and then, I'll sit down and play a game with the customers in Angel's Share. Oh, that's so sweet. You have for a game now? I challenge you to a duel, let's be nice. <laughs> I was hoping we could play a game. But this issue of someone leaving a character card with my image of the cat's tail is very intriguing. Are you gonna make me investigate? It's getting late, and someone has some explaining to do. Ooh. <laughs> we'll have to have that duel another time. Sure, I look forward to it. Good. Then I'll take my leave. <laughs> you know where the door is. Don't let the door hit you where Lord Barbado split you. <laughs> is that why? Uh, is it because you don't like alcohol beverages that you are hostile to Diluc? Uh oh, guard captain. Someone should say something to him. <laughs> I hope Kaya will be alright. Oh, for sure. I don't think uh, they probably uh, be in a fight, but uh, not like a physical one. Probably, maybe. I hope so. Well, now that we are familiar with the rules, why don't we try playing a game of Genius Invocation TCG? Ooh. 
Ooh, two new players having their first ever duel. <laughs> this sounds like fun. But in order to play an official duel, you need to have three character cards. Three? Why not two? Remember, a complete deck has to have three character cards and 30 action cards. Got it? Oh, uh, then let's use my cards. These oh, were mixed in with all the others I had received. And Aww. I didn't know what they were for at first. Oh, sweet. But now that we've learned the rules, I can see that this one must be the Sucrose character card. Now, it looks like we each have the Kaya, Diluc, and Sucrose character cards. Oh, so why don't these. we have our first duel? Um, hold on, hold on. I need a moment. I'll be right back. No, okay. Uh, if you say so. All right, let's duel. Let's do the duel. Oh, damn. It will be interesting. Same cards. What is this? This is Xiao. So cute. The story of summons. What does it mean? Like both uh, you and your opponent. What are some the, the cards in my hand? This is too risky. I'm gonna switch it. <laughs> uh, and also, it requires the, to, 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 to four dice. So, so no, thank you. What? What? Oh, what does this do? Zero. Unlike the adventure challenge you tried previously, duels are true tests of strength between two players. Okay. In a duel, your opponent can I'm also use it. action <laughs> cards, and they'll also be able to grab new cards during an end phase. At the same time, your opponent must also spend elemental dice to take actions, so you'll be oh. unable to view their intent. Oh, okay. <laughs> Are you ready? It's time for some exhilarating fights to the bitter end. I'm ready. Meowza! Meowza? What's a Meowza? <laughs> Select active character. Um, Sure, let's go Kaya because he's probably not passing a great... Uh, he's not having a great time ready right now. Dice, 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 dice. Let's be lucky, please. This is not lucky. Okay, so I have sucrose now, so I'll keep the wind. Would like some more ice. That's not what I asked for. <laughs> it's fine. <laughs> um, uh, let's see. So at least uh, Kaya was a good choice. Okay. Okay. Yes. Dodge this! Punk! I think I switched to the look next. What happened? What did you do? Ah, you gave him a... Okay! Ah, <laughs> mama, oh, um, um, You just did one, that's... Switch. I just need one. Let's finish this, swiftly. Indeed, I'll just... Oh, I need two dice to give you a sword, so no sword for you. I just... Um, oh. Bang! And then I'll end the turn next time. Oh, you end it. So end round, okay. I'm ending my round. End phase. What? Wah! Yay, Miko, so pretty! So pretty and fierce and scary! What is this? Jesus. Baro, can you give me something that I can use actually? The answer is no. Well, I guess I'll use sucrose. <laughs> what the heck? <laughs> Opponent's turn. Ouch. Okay, so. Is witch? I want to help. And this is my turn. Yep. Oh, already the end of the round? Girl. Stand clear. Well, you dead. I need to make a just darn. Ooh, we have to like defeat all of them. that into the equation. Oops. <laughs> Sorry, girl. I'm just gonna use something on someone. They um. Maybe it will count in next round. It's a good, good way to see if it does. Okay, it does count. I don't know if I knew already. Now I know though. <laughs> okay. Can I have... Oh, amazing. Uh, I'm gonna reroll these two. That's a lot of fire. I'm gonna love that. That's so, so useless. Okay. <laughs> it's fine. <laughs> um, 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 um. 
Freeze. Uh, oh, ouchies. Don't push your luck. Don't push your luck. Bonk. I have the burst, but I can't use it yet. I can use it next time, so I'll just end the turn, I think. And drown. Oh, I could have played. Well, it's fine. <laughs> okay. I look at what I got. I have so many cards on end. I should just randomly use stuff. What is this? Okay. It is boring. I think this is a bit boring, but I am having fun. <laughs> I am having fun, so it's fine. Bro. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Oh, fuck me. Cool it. Ouch. Oh, well, but you're almost dead. How much do I do with this? Oh, enough. You're dead. I'm not done. Please don't kill oh, me. I wasn't expecting that. Don't worry about it. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> I totally forgot I could switch. Now I know. Now Where I remember. I oh, that was a, si a sad voice line. Is that the voice I know when they die? Sad. <laughs> okay. I can't believe I lost when we had the exact same character cards. The rules must be more complicated than I first thought. Every decision you don't have the Yu Gi Oh experience in this game. <laughs> if there was only a way to transplant the arms of the two standby characters onto the active character's body. Oh! That's not how the rules work, Sucrose. <laughs> Don't be a sore loser. That kind of thing is looked down on in TCG circles. Oh, damn. Oh, They're I'm less sorry. toxic than you gear circles. No square. offense. Just, I know just kidding. <laughs> I just can't stand losing. Just kidding. And also, last time I played Yu Gi Oh! I was 10. So maybe the kids were just kids being, being toxic. <laughs> but it was a fun match. You went easy on me. It was a close call. I didn't know you could get so competitive, Sucrose. What? 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 Scratched. Okay. I always get a little upset when I lose. It's like that with my research, too. It always gets to me when my experiments don't go as planned. Especially when there's an alchemy genius like Albedo around to compare myself to. Ooh, Albedo. Uh, you lost me at alchemy and experiments. But it's I'm fine. pretty sure it's normal to feel that way. Oh, wow, what a mood. <laughs> Playing cards is no different. Each game you lose makes you want to win the next one to settle the score. And the desire to win pushes you to improve your strategy and build a better deck. Do I have to actually build a deck? It was my least favorite thing to do with actual cards. <laughs> Seizing victory through a winning combination of luck, skill, and experience is where all the fun of genius invocation lies. <laughs> In the back, someone meowed. <laughs> but... What if you keep trying and trying and never win a single game? A losing streak, uh, yeah. That'll definitely get you down. Oh, yeah. But it's way better to keep trying until you win than to just accept you're a plain old loser and give up. Well, no, sometimes you have to step away. Actually, I think uh, after like a couple of hours of playing, you should step away because you are actually getting worse and your chance to win is actually way less. Hmm. You make a good point, Diona. Besides, Sucrose, Not at all. you're already <laughs> making great progress. It'd take at least eight of our regular booze hounds to match your level. You <laughs> played well this last match. Agreed, it was a brilliant game. Thank you. Oh. I'm just a little disappointed to lose, that's all. But Genius and Vacation TCG is a really fun game. Good! Having I think fun I play is the it, main actually. thing. I if thought that it would eat it. In the future, <laughs> feel free to come by the cat's tail. It's easy uh, Yu-Gi-Oh, so I can't hate it. Don't play with you. I just mean, this place probably has the right atmosphere. I'll definitely be back. Alright. I think you should have all the basics down by now. I need to get back to bartending. Yep. Sheehan's likely been busy making his tavern more popular with his delicious cocktails. Pui, pui, pui. And we can't have that. Are you actually trying to do a bad job? Huh. Why are the Putting my are you? wine industry to the ground keeps me pretty busy, you know. So right. if you need any more help, go bother Sheehan. Wee! Did we talk to Sheehan? Okay. 
Okay, yet again, a change of wardrobe. Please do not mind <laughs> all of the changes in this freaking video. It's because I always record this when I add very little time. Today too, I hope I can finish it actually. <laughs> Hello! I see. So you have now grasped the rules of Genius Invocation TCG. Yeah, I'm a pro. I totally remember all of them. <laughs> That's right! The Traveler, Sucrose, and Pondon are TCG players now! She said he he he. That's so cute. <laughs> I didn't notice you play any match, Paimon. Uh, Paimon picked it up. Ah, she's more like support. You and Sucrose. <laughs> she's a good. Becoming a TCG player is not as simple as that. You cannot call yourselves true TCG players until you have passed the test. Damn, Prince, you are strict. <sighs> so gonna play with words me? from Prince there. But I'm afraid he's right. To become official players recognized by the Genius Invocation TCG Society, you have to pass the test. Sorry. What does it entail? Seeming a somewhat troll within a deck of cards? Oh, yes, I don't know what it's although to be honest, it's not that monsters. difficult. Okay. Basically, to become an official and recognized TCG player, you have to best three opponents in a duel. Three? So, you have to win three duels against three different opponents? Am I at two already? The duel you just I played hope. can count towards this tally. Oh! I agree. Although I didn't get to observe the match myself, I did listen along. And from what I could hear, you both performed at a rather high level. Same way you can hear what Prince says. <laughs> the man is here everywhere. A well-trained ear is a basic skill expected of anyone hoping to become a TCG master. So you but must be nosy. The, at hand. <laughs> the traveler only needs to beat two more opponents to become an official TCG player. Oh, so okay, so Diona didn't count because it was a tutorial. By the way, since this is Yu-Gi-Oh themed. Look at, look at what my sister found in a happy meal when she went to Milan with her friend. Look at this. <laughs> it's it's a, a collaboration between Hello Kitty and friends and Yu-Gi-Oh. Oh, wait. I hope you can see it. Wait, maybe. <laughs> it's so cute. It's, it's just a baby. <laughs> it's, just, it's just such a cute baby. Oh god, the, the light. <laughs> I have to find it a place where Bibi can't find it though. <laughs> because he steals my, my plushies <laughs> a lot of the time. <laughs> um, and I have so many. I also had to donate a few um, to kindergartens. Uh, because they didn't fit in my room. You cannot see them. You can see two of them because those are fandom related. So they are on top of the mangas. But in this corner... There is a tower of plushies. <laughs> you don't want to see it. <laughs> um, anyway, sorry. Sucrose, you may have lost the last duel, but don't be disheartened. I can assure you that winning three games is well within your ability. Mm -hmm. But first things first, Shuyen. Before that, our TCG newcomers should receive their free gift. Oh, yes, my goodness. Completely slipped my mind. I'm lucky to have Prince here to remind me. Everyone who wants to start playing Genius Invocation TCG is entitled to claim a free casket of tomes. The freak is that? A casket of tomes? Where have I heard that before? Oh, did it? Tamez mentioned it, didn't oh, he? Oh, did he? It was, it was from so the white novels he's been me. reading. <laughs> the thing that the main character found in his attic. Oh! Oh, that's right! The soul of an ancient TCG player was trapped inside, right? So the casket of tones is actually real? <sighs> well, actually, all card cases in Genius Invocation TCG are called caskets of tomes. Not only do they provide a reliable and sturdy container to store your decks, so just they case. can also sense when other people in the area are also carrying a casket of tomes with them. Oh! So you can I challenge them to do the, the duel. <laughs> the reason they can sense each other is because they have the souls of ancient TCG players inside. That would mean an extraordinarily high number of people in history have been turned into disembodied souls as a consequence of playing card games. No. The real reason that it can sense other caskets is because it holds a nifty little mechanism invented by Sumeru scholars. Ooh. Darn! What a 
letdown. Um, sounds like a convenient way of finding other TCG players. Cool, a TCG friend finder. <laughs> Alright, now let's see this casket of tomes already. Well... All caskets of tomes are issued by Margaret, so you will need to see her to claim yours. Okay. Probably for the best. If Prince and I were responsible for handing them out, knowing how eager we both are to promote the game, we'd probably have dished them all out by now. Bide. Okay, <laughs> so go and see Margaret to claim your casket of tomes, use it to find another player, beat them in a duel, and then come back here. Okay. But even for the Traveler, oh. that's only two wins in total. What about the last one? It's gonna be Prince, no? I shall choose the hmm. final contestant he must beat in order to become oh. an official TCG player, for it must be one of comparable prowess. Excellent plan, Prince. Happy dueling, both of you. Thanks. Okay, Margaret. We're outside? I guess? She said she was going on a walk, if I don't remember. If I remember correctly. Oh, she's right here. Hello. Hello, you three. Has little Diona finished teaching you the rules of genius invocation? Mm hmm. Ah, I see you're here for your casket of tomes, aren't you? <laughs> a very useful tool indeed. How fun. The scholars of Sumeru have they pr their priority straight. <laughs> So this is a casket of tomes. It does look like a deck holder <laughs> that I used when I was little for Yu-Gi-Oh! <laughs> That's right, a purpose-built case for your card deck that can even detect when someone else nearby is carrying one. Mm. Gosh, whoever invented this must have seriously disliked being alone. Cute. Yeah, well, even the most fun game is pretty lonely if you got no one else to play it with. True. So I'm glad that these customers, um, <coughs> TCG players, are able to congregate at the cat's tail. It's like a, a nerd detector. You can uh, uh, you can freely be be weird or a nerd or talk about your interests when uh, when you hear the signal from the deck holder. <laughs> I'd love that for other interests too, honestly. <laughs> I can't be bad for business. You're not wrong, but that's secondary. The important thing to me is the opportunity for like-minded people to come together and enjoy their favorite hobby. It creates a nice atmosphere. Anyway, now that you have your caskets of tomes, it's time to find some opponents. Yep. All right, let's go. In that case, I'll go find some people to play against too. Let's meet back at the cat's tail in a while. Okay. Trust in your cards? Ah, the art of the cards, of course. <laughs> you can win this. Trust your cards. Thanks. I'll do my <laughs> best. <laughs> You're so sweet. <laughs> She's lovely. Wow. Okay. You can edit your deck uh, using the Casket of Tomes uh, and also search uh, for character nearby who also possess Casket of Tomes, thereby identifying opponents you can challenge. Okay, let's pretend I understood. There is a tutorial up there I if I didn't. I created another universe and found a paradise. And, oh! Okay, deck, bro, this is too much, bro, this is too much, I'll just swing it, okay, and I'll read it later, maybe, probably, maybe not, my deck, do you have anything else, no, I just have them, so it's fine, create a new deck, no, it's fine, we got this, I think, uh, um, search for players, oh, navigate, let's go boys, I think one of the guards uh, up ahead, Hello? Oh, looks like Margaret is talking with those two people over there. She's standing next to an adventurer Paimon doesn't recognize. Is this the same quest? The cats have been so anxious. This is not if the we same can't quest. Get them to trust us. God damn it. Let's make our way to the Furball Fortress. Actually, I was on my way to play cards. Furball Fortress, yes, it is another quest. <laughs> cards. 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 <laughs> There's a player nearby! Yes! That way! Let's go see! Are you... Swan? Is this you? It is! Oh, sorry, Swan. I was too close. Aha! It's you! <laughs> I'm sorry. Is there anything I can assist the two of you with? Yep. Do you want to play? We are you wanna busy? We want to become official Genius Invocation TCG players! <laughs> but we have to pass the test first, so we need to be three players in a duel. Our casket of tones led us to you! Oh, I see. Unfortunately, I'm on duty right now. No, please, you're not doing anything important and you have a partner. 
Masih is time to do well. <laughs> when it comes to your attention that... Wait. When it... It's so small, sorry. <laughs> when it comes to your attention that a citizen of Monster is in need, you must come to their aid promptly and willingly. <laughs> Are you quoting the Knights of Favonius handbook at me? <laughs> I need your aid. <laughs> <sighs> so be it. Then let the duel begin. Oh, you're so nice to me. Thank you. Uh... Hold on, in a moment, I'll be right back. Nope, nope, let's just go. So let's just start. Boom, boom, boom. Boom, boom. Boom, boom. Ooh, confirm. Okay. Better. Oh! I forgot everything. <laughs> Oops. Uh, select, just go with Kaya. Boom, 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 boom. Um, um, well, please, I don't need this. They are worse, <laughs> somehow. <laughs> I should have got a, go, I should have gone with the look. Okay, sure. Punk. Oh, open and switch. Okay. Let's go. Ouch. Punk. Oh, I should have got them in, in my weapon, I forgot. And round. Ouch. Okay. Uh, ooh, way better this time. Okay. Were you? What? Sure. This is for you. Which, which? Ready when you are. Okay. <coughs> so at least one is down. Hee <laughs> hee. Then I didn't turn. Oh, you should have got. Well, it's fine. <laughs> wow, absolutely nothing. Oh, didn't even look at them. Okay. Not so bad. I think I can just. Uh, it's a waste to use it on them, though. Well, it's fine. We're almost done, I think. So, just use it. Oh, so sorry. <clears throat> oh, so sorry. <laughs> what kind of noise? <laughs> oh. Don't push your luck. Oh. Time to switch. Close to close. Switch card. I want to help. What happened? What? <laughs> okay. <laughs> I guess. Um, oh wow, this was a good roll. Unfortunately, we are almost on. So like... Uh, sure. Bonk. What a waste of a good roll. <laughs> Couldn't this happen when they were all standing up? <laughs> wow, thanks. Uh, wait. I think I, I've done it. So exit. Gosh, I lost. You're remarkably good at this, considering how new to the game you are. Thanks, I actually didn't know what I was doing. Let's play again when you have some time. Sure. But ideally, not when I'm on duty. Ah, oh, sorry, yikes. <laughs> yikes. <laughs> we did it! Now we have two victories under our belt. Let's get back to the cat's tail. Paimon wonders who Prince is going to pick as our final contestant. Um, I hope they are not too... Oh, babies! <laughs> okay, I hope they are not too difficult to battle with. <coughs> also because I forgot all the rules. <laughs> and what, please? I sense that he had what it took to become an official TCG player, but he has returned to the tavern more quickly than I had expected. All right, where is Sucrose? Well, she had to find two. Defeat the opponent I have arranged for you, and you shall become an official TCG player. I look forward to watching this game immensely. Okay. Not just Prince. I can't wait either. Come, your opponent is waiting for you in one of the private rooms. You're so weird, I love you. <laughs> he won't lose to them, whoever it is. Right, Traveler? Mm-hmm. Not really. What ho, fellow voyager of the Stellar Void. Yes. Even I was briefly discountenanced when I heard the tidings of your sworn oath to become the thrice victorious. But so be it. You who 
who are enslaved by dueling desire. Be released from your shackles into the glorious arena of combat. Step forth, O oh brave challenger. It is. Assassin grant you an audience. <clears throat> Hearken well. The wretched clock. Please stop talking. <laughs> As the declining light of the day grows dimmer still. My god, you're so fancy. Pardon my directness, but we have not been waiting that long. Main Fräulein could afford to be a little less... Impatient. He's the boy. Huh? Paimon knows those voices. Do we know them already? No. Your opponent sounds anxious to begin. Do not delay. Yup. That's what Prince said. Let's go. Please enter and enjoy your genius invocation TCG duel. Thanks. I'll need that we get a private room. Where, where? Oh, this way. <laughs> Look at them. Wow. Wait. It's me and me. Look. It's both of us. <laughs> I knew it. It's Fisher and I. So we do know them. Unfortunately, I did this out of order then. But the princessin. For as the name of this hallowed rite suggests, only when the wisest of heroes is summoned can the master of cards hope to be crowned the champion. Of course, of course, whatever you said. <laughs> I did this not follow path it all. <laughs> is a treacherous one. It must be tread with great caution. For eternal doom and damnation are but one wrong step away at any given moment. That is why none is more suited to appear in this audience chamber than the princessin, <laughs> whose Alg de Verertalon des Grossen Kaleidovan has witnessed 10,000 battles across 3,000 worlds. They are so me. <laughs> oh, is that right? <laughs> Indeed. Main Fräulein has watched many games of Genius Invocation TCG Only watched and has gained a solid grasp of the rules. Okay. Even in a duel between beginners, it is best that both participants are well versed in them. Oh, Oops. That's true. <laughs> I don't remember. Um, a duel between beginners? And you said watched many games? Let's just be rude. Ah, this makes sense now. Prince did say that he was gonna pair us with someone of a similar skill level. Guess that means Fischl hasn't been playing that long either. But then why did he send us first to look out, uh, to look uh, for people in the wild? They for sure weren't beginners. Hmm. The princess needed but a single glance at these mere machinations of mankind to discern their working principles. Both. So much Thus, dialogue. <laughs> with speed and brilliance paralleled by lightning alone, do I now arrive here at the gateway to yonder circle of secrets? Okay, girl. <laughs> Main Fräulein, too, has bested two opponents thus far, and is therefore one step away from becoming an official TCG player. So cool. there's a lot on the line, huh? Either Fischl or the Traveler is gonna come out of this duel as an official TCG player! <laughs> Both of us, eventually. <laughs> Indeed. The princess in herself heeds the call of fate and descends to this realm from the Immanachreich. Yet still, you dare to doubt the inevitability of the inevitable. Of course. Your stubborn <laughs> foolishness is contemptible. Uh, whatever. <laughs> Main Fräulein, I implore you to consider less odious turns of phrase. She talks with so much fluff to feast on in her dialogue. In the fullness of time. You too, bro. You're not helping. What? I shall not lose, Oz. What say you, Outlander? Do you wish to make an enemy of me, the Princess of Ertelung, who even now begins to strum the strings of fate that shall sound out the Traveler's Requiem? Uh, verily, he's time to do well. Then We're matching in energy. <laughs> it is time to see what you are made of. Yup, yup. We. Oh, wow. You have a Kaya too! Is Kaya su super popular or something? <laughs> this means let's just keep all of them. Okay, um. Let's just wing it. Let's go. Let's go. Roll phase. Let's pray for good dice. Not even one fire. Let's go. <laughs> Not even one fire, but we got another all purpose. I'm sorry. He, he did a <laughs> Bonk. 
Dun-dun-dun-dun. Ah, be right back. <laughs> yes, you play your turn, girl. Ouchie. Okay, sorry, we wanted the window open. Yeah. Ready when you are. Ready when you are. Wah, sorry. Sure. Cool it. Ah. My goodness, I'm getting flashed by the light on, on one side right now. Okay, I'm um, um, um. Wah! What a pretty card. So cute. <laughs> Okay, good dice, please. <gasps> oh, I almost had another fire. <clears throat> please, moral purpose. One. Well, uh, I have one. I see. Okay. So she's done. Uh -huh. This is but a small sacrifice necessary to achieve ultimate victory. <laughs> sure, girl. <laughs> If this is all uh, your plan, it's fine. My turn. Oh, this is skip. Which one? Confirm. Okay, now I have zero, so we can end. These cards are so pretty. And if I can manage to win something while forgetting the rules constantly, maybe I'm I will be fine. <laughs> bada bada bum. Okay. Ouch. Oh dare you. Sure. Absorption pulse. Oh. Du -du 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 -du. <gasps> oh, you ended your turn already. Okay. Let's just do this then. Punk. Please go that what is what? Wow. They suck. <laughs> Wish. Oh wow, okay. Time to change the look, I guess. <laughs> what are we doing? Okay. I think I don't. I don't know. But I can attack twice with the look, I think. Uh, still my turn. Still attacking. Okay. Ending turn. Oh, this is good. This is lovely, amazing, fantastic. Okay. Freeze. Ouch. Wow, get fucked. <laughs> Time for retribution. Luck. And I think I can switch to Kaya and do the same with him. What happened? Oh. Oz, with lightning, twixt upper and lower mandible. Strike thy pointy beak into this obstacle and remove it from my path. Main Fräulein, I cannot simply attack the traveler. Girl, it's a card game, please. <laughs> Let's do this. Freeze. Bum, 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 <laughs> Welp. <laughs> eh, but, but not really. Let's light it up. Don't push your luck. Don't push your luck. <gasps> wow. I guess this one. I want to help. <laughs> now, see what happens to those who dare defy the princessin. A <laughs> girl. <laughs> oh, and he's dead. Whoops. I'm sorry, girl. Couldn't break. Of curse. Oh, are you mad at me now? <laughs> Victory! Yay! Am I happy about this? Is she gonna be mad at me? She seemed to take it really seriously. I'm I don't do well with competitive people. <laughs> Impossible! Oh, the cursed dragon looms near once more, casting its dark shadow on the slender threads of fate. Oh my god. Hiding them from my vision. Traveler. Was even this part of your plan? No, not at all. I did not have a plan. I just winged it. What a <laughs> truly <it. laughs> ingenious plot. And what an exciting duel to witness. Bro, I did not play shit. Congratulations. But... You've won three duels now. Thanks. That makes you an official TCG player. Thanks. Yeah! Oh, Sucrose, so you're back! Uh, does that mean... This song is adorable. I can't stop but bop to it. <laughs> yep. I've won two games so far. Ooh! When I got back, I heard you were in the middle of your final duel. So I came over to watch. Nice! Sucrose won two as well! Great work! Hmm. It seems I am forced to admit, 
fellow voyager of the stellar void that your mastery of the cards is second to none thank you baby please do not let the, in the insect in my window is full of insects of any kind they keep getting in so i only open it when he is there guarding or else i am attacked by insect of every kind <laughs> every single every single time i open my window spring do be like that unfortunately well i have a bunch of the nature uh from my window side uh but so it, it, it got up and i wish it wasn't wasps <laughs> anything but those <laughs> to commemorate your glorious ascent to a battlefield beyond this lowly mortal realm I grant thee an incarnation of my majesty in miniature. As you embark on this ingenious vocation, may you wield it in battle against all your fated foes, that not a single one of them may be left standing. Thank you. I thought you would be a little madder about me winning, but this is very sweet of you. Main Fräulein wishes to give you a Main Fräulein character card. I love that! Wow! It's Fischl's character card! I dare not take advantage of the princess's generosity. Princess Tis a mere token of such. <laughs> to the victor of this splendid duel is a boon of commensurate splendor due. I love that he matches the energy. <laughs> oh, um, excuse me, ma'am. I am also a beginner who has won two games so far. Might I also have the honor of joining you in a duel? So cute. If you would be willing, of course. Nothing would delight me more. Oh. I hereby grant you permission to join me in performing the hallowed rite of genius invocation. We're friends. We're all friends. <laughs> One other thing. Hmm? When I got back, Prince and Shuyun said there was something they needed to give you if you managed to become an official TCG player. Hopefully not another test. Hopefully an instant victory card. Probably not. Oh, Paimon bets it's some kind of prize for making it as an official TCG player. I hope so. Let's go get our prize. Okay. With Have three fun. electro dice, I summon my eternal familiar, Osvaldo Hrathnavine, to my side. Heed my invocation! Osvaldo? But I can't read that. Line, I have been by your side all along. <laughs> You're so cute. I mean in the game, Oz. <laughs> hmm. Then I'll use chaotic entropy to invoke a large wind spirit that deals increased damage when it carries an element other than Animo. So... Oh! Oh! So be it! One shall not be swayed by such a feeble attack! Are you... Okay, I was, I was gonna say, are you going on and on? Um, uh, until I'm, I'm out of here? <laughs> Vishal and Sucrose are playing Genius Invocation TCG. Maybe it's uh, best not to interrupt their game. The same for you too? Can I talk to Oz? I can't. Same thing, okay. Let's go. Oh, I didn't know you were also here. What is upstairs? More cats? Sorry. Exploration! No cats. No cats upstairs. Well, hello, Prince. Bonk. Ah, oh, so it was you who won the duel in the end. Yeah. I knew you'd do it. Congratulations. You are now officially recognized members of the Genius Invocation TCG community. Thanks. This was a bit convoluted. <laughs> Just to be accepted. Very well done. Now, I will explain to you what becoming an official TCG player entails. The first thing all new official TCG players receive is their TCG Player's Handbook. This handbook tells you exactly what you need to do to become a top-tier TCG player. Make sure you read it. I want. Secondly, <laughs> a range of Genius Invocation merchandise is now available for you to purchase here at the Cat's Tale. Where? <laughs> so you see, becoming an official TCG player is really just the first step. I'm gonna buy everything. <laughs> I am rich. I don't care. And thirdly, whenever you wish to play a game with a friend, you can use the invitation board there. Whoever you wish to duel against, simply invite them to the tavern for a game. Invitation board? Yes, it's right by the bar counter. Once you get the hang oh, of it, you can play with your friends so whenever you want. 
That's it, really. If there's anything else you didn't quite understand, you can always come and ask me. Okay. Yes, indeed. I'm quite Tiny sure they will. Tiny today, they call Oh, sorry. <laughs> I forgot to translate for you. Prince would like to say. Yes. Hope you have fun playing Genius Invocation TCG. You guys are so cute. This quest was adorable. I loved it so much. It was so fun. I think I'll play the game some more by myself. I don't think you want to see the do 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 wells. <laughs> It's just as fun as spectating a Yu-Gi-Oh! Um, card game, actually. <laughs> Which is not that fun unless you're learning. Yes, I know about this. Oh, it's random people. I wonder if I can get to battle Kaya. <laughs> oh my god, Mona too. Maybe this is just uh, multiplayer though. I did not read, so I I couldn't tell you. Spend the lucky coins. Ah, to, to, to shop. Let me see the shop, please. What? Uh, no, it, 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 wait. All of the quests today. <laughs> what the freak, man? This game needs to stop. Tabby! You're so cute. I didn't know you you played uh, TCG. <laughs> you were right in front of the board. Hey, Tabby. Ah, oh, it's you two. What are you doing here? Wait, and how did you get out of the Serena teapot? Well, you can do that. I think they can have vacation. Of course, I can. Ah, but this is your first time seeing me outside of the teapot realm, isn't it? Although the Adepti created teapot spirits primarily to manage and maintain their teapot realms, our movements are not restricted to those domains. So valid, you deserve better than being constricted in there. For instance, there's Chubby, I'm sorry, Jade Seeker, who oh. travels far and wide to gather the rarest treasures in the land. Their, their nickname is Chubby. I want to meet them. <laughs> I want to meet them and see them. With a name like Chubby, they must be lovely. <laughs> oh, but it is true that I, in contrast, rarely leave the teapot realm at all. Ah, Paimon gets it now! Huh. Well, since you so rarely leave, what's the occasion today? Um, I'm guessing you didn't come for a drink. Not to play cards, I'll bet. Oh, I was Indeed hoping not. to play cards together. Although it may <laughs> together. surprise you to learn that the reason I was sent here still has to do with the card game. Oh, amazing. Um, and as it happens, it has something to do with the Traveler, too. How so? Well, as I'm sure you've discovered, with the rising popularity of Genius Invocation TCG, inviting a friend to a duel in the tavern has become a fun way to pass the time. You actually want to duel? There's just one little problem. Many invitees currently have to travel an enormous distance to get here, turning the whole thing into quite an ordeal. I have therefore been sent here to create a little game room using the same Adeptus art as is used to construct teapot realms. Oh, cool! That way, anyone with an invitation will need only to think the thought and they will instantly appear in the game room. So fun! You will be free to use the room whenever you wish to invite a friend to duel, and it will be far more straightforward for them to take you up on the offer. Mm -hmm. But what if Margaret finds out? She's not going to get mad at you for renovating her tavern with your Adeptus Arts, is she? Didn't she commission you, Artrista? I don't think they just came in uh, uninvited. Um, that shouldn't be a problem, since the realm will not be physically located within the cat's tail. Besides, we, we obviously sought the owner's permission in advance. Okay. Um, the battery is low. I'm going to keep an eye on it. <laughs> See, she was the quite enthusiastic. Oh, oh Li Yue's Adepti art sound pretty useful. Could you double the size of the tavern while you're at it? <laughs> Unfortunately, my mastery of Adeptus arts is not sufficient to achieve this. Huh. What she yeah, handled? Yeah, that does sound like something Margaret would say. <laughs> Anyway, it's great that you're here. I was expecting to have to wait until your next visit to the teapot realm to fill wonder, you in. I wonder economically how would that work? Because I know that to expand, uh, if you use uh, um, like uh, more terrain around you, you have to get permission from like the government. Oh, but this is an anarchy. So would they need permission? Or would they just expand uh, without saying, without seeing any, saying anything to the 
um, to Jean. Because uh, someone in the comments said, yes, in, in, um, in the comments of Jean's companion quest, or sorry, a um, um, character quest, uh, they're called here, that uh, uh, they do, do not, they are not very organized and do not have like bureaus for taxes and stuff um, because they are in fact kind of an anarchy. Um, but they, if they have a monetary system, which I don't know if they are a thing that would be in an anarchy, I'm not very... I actually went into um, a rabbit hole of research on the internet and I did try to look up a lot of stuff about anarchy to the point that maybe <laughs> maybe someone would look at my search history and be worried about me, but... <laughs> But, uh, I don't know, uh, since they have a monetary system, I would think that they would also have a way to organize monetary um, associated, like, uh, tasks or something. I don't know how to explain myself, uh, but apparently they do not. Jean does everything. Uh, <laughs> so I was wondering if also uh, they would need a permit to expand, but uh, since it's kind of like not physically expanding on the territory, maybe they wouldn't need it. Maybe this would be also a shortcut in a normal society. Maybe this is how leeway goes around it. <laughs> Sorry, I got I, a bit lost in thoughts. <laughs> right then, let's get started. Okay. Um, Tabi has just an adept with us to remote in the tavern, well. Okay, oh. that should do it. Oh my goodness! Over to you. Now you can invite friends to duel with you in this room wherever in the world they are. I hope it serves you well. Okay. Oh, and I almost forgot. A guy from the tavern wanted me to say this to you. Who? Hope you will have fun playing Genius Invocation TCG. Thank you. Was this part of the quest actually? Yes, from Lingue completed. It was part of the quest maybe. Huh? Check player's manual. Oh, oh, this is the manual. Oh, ah, I'm overwhelmed. <laughs> Every time I get new menus, I, I am so overwhelmed. Okay, uh, oh, reward list. Oh, money. Oh, I wanted to check the shop. That's what I wanted to do. Wow, okay. Uh, oh, uh, okay. Stop, everyone stop. I created another universe. Fish no. Okay, everyone <laughs> stop. If I need to know something, that you think I would not understand on my own, please do explain it. Sorry, since I'm here. Yum! Um, otherwise, I think I'm good to do this by myself. Let me know if you want to see something about this. Is this quest over? It, I think it should be over. Let me see. It seems over. Okay, it is over. Fantastic. Lovely. Amazing. Let me see the shop first. Prince, can I see the shop? Can I see the shop? Ask about player level. Ask about player level? <gasps> Reward? Oh, oh, Primal Gems! <gasps> oh, okay, Sh stop it. Okay, fantastic. I love it. I will play it more often. I want. Um, no. View card shop. <gasps> I kept my card. Oh, sorry. <laughs> sorry, I got a little excited. Uh, what is this? Characters! Wow, they cost a lot. Wow, Kaya is so expensive and I got it I got him for free. Damn! Wow. Ooh! Ah! Hot people! I, I got a I got a save up for the hot people. Oh my goodness. <laughs> um support. Wow! Wow! I'm very sorry. I am so What is this? What? Sorry, I'm very excited. I'll just uh, get the exclamation point out of the way. I'm... I'm a... Wa we... Okay, stop. We are not playing, okay? Up. Uh, I, I got... <laughs> okay, <laughs> this was very fun. Okay, wait, let me get out before I trigger anything else. Actually, let me get in to make sure I triggered everything I could trigger, because if I get in just to play a game and, and randomly trigger another cutscene... That might be a problem for me. Okay. Whoa. Okay. I triggered everything I could trigger. So I think we're fine. Oh, wait. Let me just go to Catherine before I forgot. Perfect. Fantastic. Uh, I'm very sorry about all the wardrobe changes. Uh, it ended up this way. It's kind of funny to me. <laughs> but uh, um, I think we are done with this quest. Uh, 
uh, tell me if I'm wrong. So for today I'm gonna stop here. I don't know how long this video will be because I'm gonna cut a lot about uh, a lot of tutorial and a lot of uh, um, fights because I don't think they are very entertaining and I was very focusing and also very confused. <laughs> So I'm not planning on uh, keeping a lot of the silence that I left in uh, totally by accident. I would love to entertain you while I do boring stuff and like keep you company and stuff. But I, I was so focused that I say I didn't say a word. <laughs> so I'm gonna cut that part off. I hope this video isn't too long or too short because if it's too long, it's probably too boring. <laughs> um. um but yeah, thank you so much for watching, uh, even though it was just a, a random tutorial quest, it was very fun to me. <laughs> um, if you feel like you subscribe, and I'll see you again next time. Bye bye!